Are you putting tape on all four sides of your hydro dipping film? If you are, shame on you. That's a hydro dipping no-no. In today's edition of Just the Tip, I'm gonna be showing you why you do not need to put tape on all four sides of your hydro dipping film, why it's a bad idea, and I'm gonna show you how to do it without tape at all. Because you don't need it. Stick around, show you how we do it. Welcome to ATF Hydrographics and another edition of our bi-weekly video series we call Just the Tip, where we cut out all the boring stuff and just give you guys at home great tips and tricks on how you can become a better DIY hydro dipper. And today's video is brought to you by our channel sponsor, One Hit Wonder Paint Company. If you're in the market for hydro dipping supplies, paint, film, all that kind of fun stuff, they sell it. And if you want to find out how to get some with a coupon code, I may know a guy. Hang out to the end of the video and I'll tell you how you can get your hands on some One Hit Wonder products with a discount. So if you've watched YouTube or seen hydro dipping before, at any point in your life, you have probably seen someone do exactly this. They take a piece of hydro dipping film, cut it out, and they tape all four sides with some, you know, whatever kind of tape they can find laying around. A lot of times it's just general purpose masking tape. But why is this a bad idea? As you can see, this film has a little bit of wrinkle to it. And no matter how much I try to flatten this stuff out, all I'm doing is just moving the wrinkles to other parts of the film. Well, all those wrinkles and stuff are going to transfer when you go to put this in the water. You'll never be able to get this as flat as it was when it didn't have any tape on it. So that is why it is very, very, very important that you do not do this. Another reason that this is a really, really bad idea is this tape actually makes this film way more than it should. And if you accidentally dip just a little bit of this edge in the water, the first thing that happens is the water wants to come up over the film because this weighs so much more and it's going to start sinking and you don't want that either. Another reason why you should never tape all four sides of the film is because of all these wrinkles, the film will have a tendency to kind of fold up on itself once it gets inside the water. And I'm going to show you here in just a second, once I put this film on the water, what kind of issues you can have and a lot of people have issues that they just can't figure out what's going on and most of the time it's it has to do with this right here don't tape your films like this so we're here at my extremely dirty hydro dipping tank and we're going to put this film in the water now if you don't know which side it goes down let me show you a little trick super simple and easy trick not rocket surgery at all all you do is take your index finger and your thumb lick them both if that grosses you out for whatever reason Put it in some water, whatever. Take those moist fingers, put them on the corner of the film and squeeze just like so. When you let go, one side is going to stick to your finger and one side is not. Whichever side sticks to your finger, which is gonna be this side right here, that is the side that needs to go down on the water. Super simple, none of this shiny versus, you know, all these other little different ways that people come up with. Lick your fingers, grab the film, put it in the water. Simple as that. So we're gonna lay this in here all real nice and gentle-like and we'll try to get this on the water as best we can now the first thing you see is all of these ripples in the film and there's one right here there's also a giant air bubble underneath that all these wrinkles is because the film is trying to soak up water and the film's already not flat as it is once it tries to soak up all that water and then expand itself back out to its normal size, you can't do that. You're not allowing the film to do that because it's taped on all four sides. And so here we have all of these wrinkles and stuff that are gonna take a lot longer to hydrate if they hydrate properly at all. Now I'm gonna do this without activating the film, but what I want you to see is when this film goes to close in on itself as I put my hand in it as though I'm gonna be dipping something, the film has nowhere to stretch and expand around my hand. It's just gonna collapse in on itself. And there you see it's already starting to break. Normally, if this was not taped all the way around, that film would follow my hand all the way in, but nope, it just broke. Same film, same design, same everything, off the same roll. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this one in the water with no tape. Notice how that lays out pretty nice and flat and you don't see as many wrinkles as you did before? Yeah, the edges are gonna roll up a little bit. That's part of it. We're gonna discuss that more in a little bit. So the ripples that you're seeing in this pattern right here is actually the different inks in the pattern. That is not the film squinching up on itself. And as you'll notice, when we put this on the water, it kind of expanded a little bit and then the edges started to roll in and it kind of created its own shape. When you tape all four sides, you're not allowing the film to hydrate the way that it wants to hydrate and it will cause problems when you go to dip. 
and allowing it to hydrate the way that it wants to will solve a lot of problems with the film wanting to fold up on itself and leaving little lines and streaks in your dip. And as you can see with this one, when I go to push in on it, it doesn't want to break right away. The film actually wants to follow my hand all the way in instead of being captured by that tape all the way around the edge. This is what allows that film to kind of stretch and go around your parts instead of just getting to a certain point and then breaking because it doesn't have any room to stretch anymore. So the pattern we just did was a Cryptek pattern and it is a pattern or a film that just doesn't move around on the water a whole lot. This one is, this is black marble and every film is different. You never know what they're gonna do until you get them on the water. But let's take a look at what this one does and how this film reacts while it's absorbing all that water. Now, as you see, at one point, the whole film just kind of glazed over real quick. It soaked up a whole bunch of water, and it started to expand. As you continue watching this, it's going to shrink back to its original size. This film is now shrunk back to its original size. Now, a lot of films do this, and you just never know until you get them on the water, but if you tape all four sides, you would never have any idea how much these films really move around on the water. So now we know why we shouldn't put this stuff on the water with tape on all four sides. Let me show you how to do it without tape, save you a bunch of headache, and not have to worry as much about air bubbles. All right, I got some film examples. Let's try a few of them and show you a few different ways that you can put these on the water without having to worry about bubbles and wrinkles and all the other headaches that come with getting this stuff on the water. We'll start with this big old piece of black marble. What I like to do is start on one side and I will cut small slits just every couple of inches, they don't have to be very deep, maybe a quarter of an inch at the most, all the way around the film. What this does is it allows the film, if it wants to roll up on the edges, it will only roll up to where those slits are at and usually doesn't roll much past that. Some films are a lot worse than others about rolling up, so I just like to do this on every single film no matter what. Now, this film is pretty relaxed, so you can actually turn it over on its side. You don't have to worry about it kind of rolling up on itself, so this one is fairly easy to get in the water. The way that I like to do it is take the film and fold it in half and make basically two triangles. And you'll pick it up by these two ends right here and lay it in the water like so. Let's go to the water and take a look at it. So my preferred method to put these in the water, just like I was showing you, holding it by the two corners and basically making two triangles, is to get up over the water wherever you want it at and kind of lean into it just a little bit. So from your view, it's gonna be just like this. You're gonna take that tip and just barely touch it in the water. And as soon as it touches it in the water, you're gonna to start to lean back with it just a little bit, level it out until we get that whole middle section in. Then we can just kind of lay it out like this. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm just going to go real slow, get that front edge to touch. Once it's touching, I will kind of allow the middle section to follow through. And then all you got to do is just drop the sides. There you go. No bubbles. Now, if for whatever reason you just can't get that method to work and some people just can't for whatever reason, I'm going to show you another method that you can use that works just as well. What you're going to do, and I only recommend this for smaller pieces of film, so maybe anything less than about two foot by two foot. You're going to come up here to the edge of the tank, you're going to make sure this edge is dry, and you're going to use this as kind of like a takeoff ramp to go into the water. So what we're going to do is we're going to start down low, and you're going to move the film towards this, and you're going to let it hit the water. This is kind of quick, but once you get the hang of it, it's fairly simple. So I'm just going to come up and over the edge, let the bottom touch, and then once it touches, I'm just going to let it roll down into itself. Now, sometimes you will get an air bubble right here, but it's usually just one big air bubble. All you need to do is hold the film so that you don't blow it back onto the side of the tank and just blow that air bubble out real quick. Now, be careful if you blow on this with your breath from your mouth. It can be very humid in your mouth. So if you're one of those people that salivates a lot, be careful when you go to blow on this stuff because if you blow water on top of the film, it's gonna have a hole right there and we don't want that, so just be careful. Some people do it with compressed air. Some people, you know, they can just get in there real light and just blow them bubbles out with compressed air. I'm not one of those people. I just make sure that I don't have any spit in my mouth and just kind of blow it really, really soft and gentle until that bubble comes out the side. So Black Marble's a good example of a film that is very relaxed, it's very easy to work with, and it doesn't cause you too much trouble on the water. Now let's look at this one, which is an absolute pain in the butt, roly-poly film. And that is gonna be 
Cryptek. I don't know why, but all of the Cryptek films are this way. As soon as you roll them out, the first thing they want to do is just start rolling back up on themselves like this one is doing. And no matter how much you try and how much finagling you do, it is always just going to want to continue to roll up on itself. And if you turn it over, it will actually roll itself all the way back up onto the roll in the way that you don't want it to, just like you see it doing now. There are a lot of films out there like this, but Cryptek is probably one of the worst. So let me show you a couple tips and tricks on how you can get this stuff in the water without throwing it across the shop because it will cause you to have a giant headache. Trust me. So what I like to do with it is right here on the edge of my table, I have a nice sharp edge right here where I can take this film and I can actually hook it around because you see this edge is wanting to kind of roll up on itself. Just let it roll up on itself a little bit right there on that edge. That will at least keep that side from rolling too far. And then hold this down with your hand and then you can stretch your film out as far as you need and then get it nice and flat. Now this side over here, you can see it's already starting to roll up on its edge. So the way that I cut it is I cut the sides first. Then I'll come down here and I'll cut this bottom edge and I'll just kind of roll it out with my fingers while I'm going down the edge of the film. And then I'll make this top cut and immediately, as soon as you make that top cut, you need to be making those slits in it real quick. Get it folded in half as quickly as you can so we can get it on the water. So you can see this edge is wanting to start rolling up on itself. I just keep pushing it down. Hold it down with your fingers and just move along the edge of it just like that and make your slits. Don't cut your fingers off. Be careful. Another thing about this film is the longer it is out in the atmosphere, especially if it is humid like it is here today in Georgia where it is raining, you need to immediately put it back in the bag. The longer the stuff is exposed to humid air, the more it will want to roll up on itself. Do a quick check and see which side needs to go down. This is the side that needs to go down on the water, of course. And when you go to flip it over, what's going to want to happen is it's going to roll, roll up on itself. So the way you fix that is you quickly put your elbow down on one side, fold this over real quick. And you got it just like that. Now films like this that just want to roll up on themselves, sometimes you may have to make a couple of adjustments and actually fold this thing a little bit better. And as you can see, the more that I play with this thing, the more it is wanting to roll up on itself. So the easiest thing to do is just to unroll it as best you can, come back here and just get it in the water as quickly as possible. Now it is going to roll up on the edges a little bit, but as you can see, I got this edge that's not wanting to go all the way. Sometimes you can take the film, just hold it a little bit, and kind of get it to blow over into the water. But that's just one of the things with these kind of films. They like to roll up on themselves really bad, so just gotta cut a little bit bigger piece than you actually need. Film's the cheapest part of this hobby when you get into hydro dipping, so wasting a couple of extra inches of film on each side is really not that big of a deal. All right, so let's say we've got to cut a really big or really wide piece of a pain in the butt film like this Cryptek that wants to roll up on itself. How do you get it on the water? Well, easy. You need a piece of PVC pipe. I like about a one and a half inch, two inch. You can use whatever you want. Just cut it to whatever length you're gonna need and very simply roll your film out just like we did before. And we're gonna cut our slits down each side first. And then we're going to cut our slits down the bottom. Uh, make this cut across the top here. Say we're doing like a stock or something. And go ahead and make my slits up here. So this is the side that needs to go down in the water. And as soon as I flip this over, it's going to run roll up on itself. Just like so. Don't panic. Easy fix. All you need to do is take your piece of PVC pipe and put it over the end just like so. Once you get this end over, just kind of roll it up on there. It doesn't have to be super tight, but as you roll it up, you'll be able to push these rolled up edges out and get this film on the PVC pipe nice and flat. I didn't say this was gonna be easy. It, it, it can be a headache, but you gotta be patient with it and get it to roll up. And then once you have it all rolled up, just take your finger and hold that edge until we get over to the tank so that it doesn't want to fall off or roll back up on itself. 
So we're here at the tank and all you need to do is when you cut your PVC pipe is just make sure that you have enough to go from whatever is on the side to the other side. Or if you have a smaller tank like one of those Rubbermaid totes, just make sure it stretches all the way across and this can hang over and this side can hang over or else you're gonna wind up having this fall in. So what you do is you're gonna lay this end over and you're gonna lay this end over on this side. Take your film and just kind of quickly get it down in the water. All you need is just that edge to be in the water. You don't want to just throw this thing across the water real quick and unroll it because you might have an issue where the film is sticking to itself and it will cause a problem. So you just want to kind of slowly roll this as you go. And when you get to the very end, be careful. If you did one of those lick and stick on this side, it may be stuck to the PVC pipe. And if you go to roll this and then try to remove the PVC pipe too quick, the film may actually be stuck a little bit to the PVC pipe. So what I always do is when I get to the end, I make sure that it's going to roll off and fall on its own. If not, stop, peel it off the PVC pipe, let it fall, and then you can move the PVC pipe out of the way. If you enjoy learning about hydro dipping and you want to see more and learn a lot more and get some one-on-one -on -one training, you should definitely check out our online training course on Patreon. All of our patrons over there are having a ton of fun and they're learning a lot about how to be a hydro dipper. We even offer a business level course to where you can learn the ins and outs of getting into this as a part-time gig or as a full-time job to earn you some money. Want to give a big shout out to all of our patrons. We appreciate having them very, very much. All their names are up here on the channel for you to see. And I want to give a special shout out to one of our patrons who decided to turn a John boat into a hydro dipping tank. How freaking cool is that? My inner redneck engineer is just so proud of him. <laughs> if you're interested in our online training, I'll leave a link to our Patreon down in the description box below so that you can go check it out. Also down in that description box, you will find a link that One Hit Wonder has given us to their site where you can get a $5 off coupon code. That is down in the description box. Go over there and check them out. They make really, really good stuff and we use it here in the shop every single day. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's roll the bloopers. Peekaboo. Film on your tape. When you let go, one side is going to stick to one of your fingers. Whichever side, whichever side falls off and hits the very wet ground, then you will know that you have officially done messed up AA Ron. Yeah, hydrographics and another. Oh, forgot the lights. Oh, Jesus. Much better. You are in the market for your, um, for your, if, if you need a new cat, they sell new cats. I, no, they don't. You should not, I know that is making way too much noise. Oh, my God. And now, whoo, now the moment you've all been waiting for, where I almost slipped and busted my butt right here live on YouTube. That floor is really wet. Explaining why you should not be putting tape on all fours of your, all fours of your sides, all fours of your side. 